Good evening from Epcot. And Crush. And Crush. And Nemo. And Nemo. And Dory. And Dory. Where we're here to try some of the food around World Showcase. We're gonna do the, the trail. What's the name of that? The colorful trail of some kind. Yes, I'll look in a minute. We're gonna try that out. Yes. And we're gonna try it and see what cool complimentary cookie we get at the end. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. So here we are on what is normally Butterfly Hill during Flower and Garden Festival. And check out Interventions West. It's a shell of what it used to be. That building came down real quick. So this is an interesting development. Just the other day, this wall was receded back further and you could actually walk toward what is now used to be mouse gear but now this whole wall extends across there's absolutely no way to get from here over there unless you go all the way around that way or all the way toward the land and the other day or no today we just went in the bypass just to check it out yeah we didn't know. now that bypass serves a very important purpose now purpose. <laughs> yeah lots of changes at Epcot yeah. so here we are checking out the 2d chalk art and it just rained they held up pretty good they though. yeah they held up pretty well this looks like something at like night with the night haze kind of adds a cool effect to it grumpy looks like he's upset because that painting to the left is dripping into him and there's Remy running with the cheese I guess he's falling with the cheese. Looks like he's falling. Check out that sphinx, that's pretty cool. It makes that smearing effect, makes it actually look like it's like a dust storm or something. Yeah. It actually adds a really neat effect to some of these. Yeah. Check this out, this is that artwork that we saw the last time we were here. Anna also look a little dirty though. So look at this at the R. Nichols booth. They have luggage tags. It's a sloth. For six dollars, you could have a sloth uh. luggage tag. What does it look like on the back? Oh, that's cute. That is cool. I like the cactus in the rain. Oh, that's, that's my cute favorite cute. one. Oh my god, that's so cute. They got a dinosaur. With his little luggage. Jellyfish. I like the whale too. These are fun. Check it out. It's got some dogs camping. Uh, How fun. For six bucks, that's actually a pretty good like gift for someone. It's quality too. Yeah. I like that's it. It's pretty neat. Check it out. They have an Atlanta print for $25. Shout out to my Atlanta peeps. So this is what we're doing today. The wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. So you can purchase any five, so we don't have to do the seafood ones, but I know you like seafood, so we'll do that for you. But these are the participating items. You gotta do five of these. You can do all five of that, or you can do one of each, or you can do two of that. And, We're gonna do one of each. and then at the very end, you get that complimentary culinary treat. So this one is the Pop Eats, which means we're gonna be doing the Almond Frangipan I think that's how it's pronounced. Red cake. Japan. So this is the almond frangipane cake layered with raspberry jam and Belgian chocolate. Mm. You wanna try it first? Yeah, go ahead and try it. It's a very photogenic cake. Yes, I did take a photo. Oh wow, it's very blueberry. Maybe it's because you got the blue part. Yeah, it's good though. <laughs> it's like a dense. Yeah. Yeah. You want to try it? Sure. I'm going to try and go in for all the colors. Oh gosh. You didn't get white. Well, yeah. But I'm getting the other colors. Oh no. Struggle. There we go. Tastes a lot of raspberry. Yeah. Do you like raspberry? Yeah. Oh. That's good. It's like chocolate raspberry. Very dense. It is a very dense cake. Yeah. It's a very dense cake, but it's good. I like it. So we need to have a rating scale yeah. if we're gonna be rating food. That's true. And uh, we've been thinking, what can we do that's a fun way to rate things other than a recommend, not recommend, thumbs up, thumbs down, number one through five. What do you think? We could do like a character that relates to it. Yeah, we can do like a character thing like Figment. Yeah, I was thinking Figment for art. So, I think I'd rate this like three, three pigments, 
three figments? Out of five. Please. I'm gonna say. Uh, mm. Let me go on for one more bite. I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna say three figments. Three figments. Three figments. So Jen made sure we got our stamp. It it's looks like light. a paint it's splat. Flat. Yeah. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four more to go before we get our free treat. At least you're not by yourself. Oh, thank God. Check out this lithograph, or I guess it's called a seriograph. What's the difference? Well, funny you ask. A lithograph is a print with ink and oil. Limited edition of 100. $90 with no discounts. But these are those attraction posters that we saw at that... Uh, Preview Center. So these are new to this year's festival with characters from the movie Coco. Yep. You got Dante, I guess is in his like spirit form. Yeah. And then on the other side, there's another Dante. Let's go check it out. And here's the other Dante. Normal puppy Dante. Normal Dante. But yeah, this is new for the festival and it is a decal, but hey, it's still really cool. So we'll keep our eye out, and if we see any more in our travels, we'll show it to you. And look at that. There's some snogies on the side of that building in Norway. Is it snogies or snogies? Snogies? Let us know. What'd you find, Jen? Mooshu. Mooshu. And Cricky. And Cricky. He's guess, pointing at him. I guess he's blaming him for the hole in the wall. <laughs> This is the seared Corvina with braised ratatouille and lemon thyme bure blanc. Ooh, cut right through. Fish is good. Ooh. This is the part that doesn't look very good, you know? Sure. Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah. Nice, like mild, it's all a light taste. Okay. Very good. So I how, really like this. How many figments would you rate it? I would say five. Wow. And I really five was like, am I gonna? Five? Yeah. Figments? I didn't think I was gonna like this at all. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. So there you go, Germany. Five out of five. Five out of five, the seared Corvina. And as you all know, I don't eat fish, so therefore, no, 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 no figments for me. Hello, Mr. Duck. What you doing? Oh, I must have said something. So there you have it. Jen got the next stamp in the sequence, the orange paint splotch. What's the next one we got? Uh, America. Oh, the pan-seared scallop. Another fishy item that screams Jen, and not me. So in the Germany pavilion, I guess we have Pascal, and he's eating caramel popcorn. I can't say I blame him, it smells really good. And here's our second Pascal. He's actually blending in. That's really cute. And that's the last Pascal right there. We found them all. He's painting a little sunshine. Can you guess which character he's painting? Okay, we have the pan-seared scallop with chorizo, roasted red pepper, coolies, and Parmesan crisp. Gluten-free. Oh, that's really good. I feel like it's best like all together. You want to try some, Brandon? No. A little bit of everything. It's really good. I'd say four figments. The other thing was better. Really? Yeah. I'm not a huge scallop fan, but I'll eat it. All right, we got the red paint splotch. Two more to go. All right, it's a little dark, 
as darkness has fallen on Epcot. And here we are trying out the rose, whatever this is. What's the name of it? Panna cotta. Vanilla, rose water, and pistachio panna cotta. I don't know even know what panna cotta is. We're about to find out. Mm -hmm. All right, Jen, go ahead and try this rose thing. It's got a hard shell made with rose water. Making sure it's not like yogurt. What's it taste like? Almost has a yogurt taste, but if it melted more, it would. That's for sure. Well, I better try some before it melts. Yeah. Well, you don't mind yogurt. I don't. Mind. That's true. Do you taste a rose watery taste? I guess. <laughs> How many figments would you rate it? I know I'm eating a lot of it, but I can't tell if I like it or not. I'm gonna go with three. Three figments? Three figments. All right, now I gotta try. Yeah. All right, let's try this. Oh. Yeah. I see what everyone's saying about how it has like a perfumey taste. See, I don't get that. I don't know. By the firelight. <laughs> okay. How many figments? One and a half. Wow. One and a half figments. Why? I don't know. It just. It maybe it's because it's, I'm used to sweet, and this is not sweet. It's, it's like light. It's very light. It's like rose <laughs> ice cream. Yeah. Wow, that was a big bite. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, one and a half big thing. Okay. And then we've got a purple paint splatter. It's coming along nicely, just one more. And then we get our complimentary item. What <laughs> color do you think that they're going to use next? Green. Green. Oh, <laughs> great minds think alike. <laughs> okay, we got the deconstructed BLT, which is made of crispy pork belly, tomato jam, and a soft poached egg, which is what you see jiggling. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. I've never had an egg like this before. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Uh, oh, that's weird. Oh God. This one I'm nervous about. Jen, you're so adventurous. Yeah, well, that doesn't stop me from being nervous. All right, I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Sorry, I'm trying to, wow, that, what jam stuff does not really okay um try get it without the egg maybe i don't think it's the egg i don't like the bacon it's so thick <laughs> it's not like crispy bacon that you think of i'm gonna try them separately let me do that One big mint. Oh, wow. I'm not about it. No. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not a big just egg person. Like scrambled is the only thing I do. Yeah. <laughs> so. One yeah. Big mint. No. It is set. No. I need. You have spoken. I have spoken. <laughs> and we were right. It is a green paint splotch. Now we get to redeem our complimentary treat. I hope it's a rainbow. And one. since you ate almost all of it, I'm pretty sure you deserve the first bite of whatever oh. this complimentary is. <laughs> so I went off the beaten path of the colorful cuisine and decided to get the lemon blood orange tart, which is exactly what it's described. Kind of looks like a unicorn. So there you have it. We have completed the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. And it's a dark blue that says complete. So since we finished the colorful cuisine, I got this really cute cookie and strawberry milk. Is there a description? No. 
No, okay. It's just a cookie. I don't know what kind of cookie. We'll find out. So Jen just made the miraculous discovery that those paint splotches are the same. Are the same as the one on the actual cookie. <laughs> That's awesome. What a great touch. Only me would figure that out. <laughs> Let me get it open. All right, Jen, let's open this cookie. And you get like the first three bites because you did like three fifths of the whole thing or however okay, many colors. Usually, usually you do it all by yourself. Oh. oh dig in. Just a sugar cookie. All right, you get two more bites. <laughs> well, try it. Nope. Two more bites for you. Now you know what it feels like <laughs> to do the cookie stroll. Ah. Oh. Overpowering sugar. I eat a lot of savory things though. That's true. It's not like you ate seven cookies in a row. No. Like me. <laughs> My turn. That's actually really good. Yeah. This is a really good sugar cookie. I know. It's like a good thick layer of frosting too. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty good. How many figments? Four figments. Yeah, I'd say three. Yeah. Really? I'd say four figments on this. And this is like one. <laughs> Strawberry milk. No, nothing crazy. I can eat this all day. That's my winning. Actually, no, I can't. I've already demonstrated that I can't. <laughs> Brandon's gonna try the tart. Lemon blood orange tart. Let me wash the cookie down. Okay. Oh man. Let me get one more bite before I announce my verdict. Five figments. Why so? It's got a good balance of like tangy and sweet and it actually tastes fresh. It doesn't taste fabricated. Wait, you get a lot of that purple thing on the bottom. It's gonna fall. Oh god. Oh. Five out of five. Five figments. It's not like yogurt, right? No. Okay. That's my fear with some of these desserts. I can't do yogurt. <laughs> Wow, that's like, like fruit. I know. That's what I love about it. I still have a little bit of sugar cookie in my mouth, so that's kind of... <gasps> I... <laughs> oh no. I didn't know I did this thing. No, you didn't know you had a purple thing attached to it. That's really good. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. So? I'd say five out of five also. Five, five figments. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Is that how that goes? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So we saved the best for last. Nice. Well, okay, we'll share some for me. Well, dig in. So that's going to finish up our evening here at Epcot for the International Festival of the Arts. Did the colorful cuisine thing? Yeah. Was. So I, I was going to say colorful cuisine trail. That's what I was calling it all day. We'll so. go with that. Was it easier this time with me here? Yes, because you ate half the stuff that I can't eat or don't want to eat. He can eat it, he just don't but want to. But it wasn't like a sugar coma. Yeah. Like with the cookie stroll. So, favorite dessert? Um, Probably that last one. What was your favorite food of the entire thing? Seared Corvina. Seared Corvina. Yes. Awesome. But out of the like stroll, like desserts, not including that last one Sweet. that you got. Um, I like the the frangipan. Frangipan cake. Frangipan. That was a good one too. Yeah. So if you get the opportunity to come down to Epcot during the International Festival of the Arts, it's definitely worth doing the colorful cuisine walk around World Showcase. Especially if you have somebody to share with. Yeah, and keep in mind you don't have to do all of them. So if you don't like seafood, you can skip over those and yeah, just do the ones you Yeah, you can do like um, double of what mm -hmm. you did like. So, so if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. 
And until next time. See you real soon. See you real soon.